This is Damon Vungard with Orion Kennels, and today we're going to talk a little bit about one of the things that really makes our kennels life rated, and that's functional portability. Now, any gear, if it doesn't do what it needs to do easily, or it's hard and cumbersome to move around, you're just not going to use it. That's just how things work. If, if we have a hard time using something, we're not going to use it. So our kennels were designed to go. They were designed to move. They were designed to be integrated into your life. And that means moving in and out of a house easily, moving in and out of a car easily, moving in and out of a hotel easily, moving in and out of campsites easily, and traveling securely. And one of the biggest things about that is if it's, if it's cumbersome and hard to secure your kennel in and out of a vehicle, you're just not going to do it. So we try to make it as easy and as safe as possible. And a key part of that is how we anchor in. So we're going to look at a few options of how quickly and easily we secure into a vehicle so that when it comes time to come out, it's super easy and go in, it's super easy and be safe all while doing it. So what everything revolves around with regard to, a, we have a nice, lightweight, safe, portable structure and to secure it into a vehicle we tie into the latch bars. Now the latch system, that's an acronym for the lower anchors and tethers for children. All modern vehicles have these bars right here for safety seats. Well, we have a few options for things that let you engage those same bars, connect to the kennel, that prevents the kennel from bouncing around inside. It keeps it one place, keeps it so it has a place. But then also you have a few options for how you get it in and out. So I'm gonna secure the kennel in. Now this is this is Jaeger's fully rigged tracking kennel here. So here, back goes in, carabiner engagement. Front, carabiner engagement. I'm now engaged. I can get back to loading him, loading more gear, whatever I need. When I want to take it out, it's just the opposite. I can unbuckle, unclip, remove the kennel. Now let's look here at that latch system. So. Those are dispersed throughout the back seat of any modern vehicle, I believe, after 2002. So to engage them, you simply girth hitch. You can girth hitch that climbing hardware. I'll undo this one. This one's now fully out. Here's, here's one with a just off-the-shelf sling. These I self-tied. This is a commercially available one. And you can just loop through the bar, bring the carabiner up to it, pull back tight. Now it's girth hitched there and secured here. If you need to shorten or lengthen, you can just twist them like you would a trailer hitch, and that'll shorten it to where you want to clip in, have it tied, or you can lengthen it. You can buy these in different lengths, or you can tie your own with good, strong uh, climbing cordage so that you can take the load. So that's one option. You saw me clip that in and out. Now another option, I'll remove this one quick. If you already have cam straps around the house, this is a short Jackson kayak one. This is, you know, these will loop through and then you can cinch, same thing. You can loop this through the security tether, up to here, around through the handle, cinch it down. This works good. I like this if I'm gonna leave it in for a long time, but since I'm moving mine in and out a lot, I find clipping in and out with a carabiner just to be much, much faster. Now the third option that we'll try to show, go ahead and put this one back. The third option that we'll try to show is using the seat belt itself. So just like a lot of child seats, you can weave the seat belt to secure the child seat. You can do the same with the kennel. So you're going to want to pull slack before you start this exercise. And I'll bring it up in here and show you this. But then if you go down to the first rope handle, up, and then back down, you can just buck right into your seat belt. So let me go grab the kennel again. And we'll, these can also, what's nice about these is you can just tuck them into the crack, the crack of the seat when you're not using it. Somebody can sit there if they want. So now we're back up with the kennel. I'll try to space it out best I can for this. So I'm just gonna pull as much slack as I can get out of my seatbelt before I start. It's just easier that way. So I'm gonna go down through the first handle, up through the second handle, and down through the third. Then I can go, let's go to that seatbelt right there. So then it can pull tension back, and there you go. So now it's seat belted in, you can pull all that tension out, now it's secured via seat belt. Then when I want it undone, just have to reach, unbuckle, it'll unthread, and the kennel comes back out. 
So that's now a few options we just looked at. Climbing hardware, seatbelt. Always gonna have a seatbelt in your car. You know, to me that's a, a, it's pretty easy, but it requires a little bit of effort. This to me is the, definitely what I prefer. Super fast, super convenient. Just lift in. Clip, clip, and all of these options engage the safety system and the shock absorbing system of our rock climbing rope handles. So, so there you have it. When you're looking for something that's life rated and easy to bring with you, easy to use, does its job, this is the answer from Orion Kennels.